Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, one of the questions that I get uh, on occasion is when you have a 48 volt transformer, do they still step the voltage down to 17 volts or even 8 volts? Well, I happen to have a 48 volt transformer here. This came out of a 5000 watt unit. And you can see the input voltage there, right there, is 32 volts. Now it says OP because you're actually reversing it. But the input voltage is 32 volts. This particular transformer has an issue. You can uh, probably see it right there. So it's erratic. And there's a lot of noise on it. This was brought to me for repair. You can see how bad it is there. The transformer itself is humming. So it's even losing. It's like almost a dead short. It's really strange. If I bump the transformer, which I won't, and try again, then it'll work. Um... I'm pretty sure that there is an actual dead short in it. Yeah, see, it's now it's coming back. I'm pretty sure that there's a short of some kind in there because it's it's really bad. Um, so anyway, this transformer is toast. But I wanted to just show you guys while I had this on the bench because I don't get too many of these 48 volt units on the bench. Um, they typically do not fail, but. Um, so yeah, there's uh, with a 48 volt inverter, they bring it down to 32 volts AC, and then step that up to 115, 230. Again, you're looking at two windings, 115 volts each. You run the two in series, you get 230 volts. So no, this transformer itself doesn't technically put out 230 volts per winding. So, but you're still stepping up the amperage by it would be four times um, approximately four times or eight times when you go up to um, 115 times two so yeah it's kind of uh, this this transform is so weird it, it I haven't seen anything like this before see now it's working fine it's really strange how this thing and I've tested my leads I have a good transformer down here that uh, that I always test against. See, now look at all that noise on there. It's just a bad transformer. That's all there is to it. Something happened. Either it was damaged internally or, or whatever. Um, but I am putting... Uh, whoops, let's try that again. I'm putting 32.1 volts into it. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's really strange. Um, so, this transformer is going to need to be replaced... As I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There is a faint smell coming from the transformer, and it does have a hum to it um, that leads me to believe that there's something internally damaged with it. Um, so, uh, cool. So, yeah, there you go. Um, hopefully that answers your question. No, they don't take a 48-volt uh, battery bank and bring it all the way down to 8 volts. Um, they do that with the 12-volt inverters. The 24 volt inverters, they bring them down to usually 17 volts. And with the 48 volt inverters, they bring them down to, I've seen them, uh, there's out of the 15K, uh, excuse me, the 48 volt unit, I believe they bring them down to 38 volts. I could be wrong. Again, I've only had a very few of the 48 volt units coming, very, very few. Um, you know, one out of 100 will actually be a 48 volt unit. Those are much more reliable simply because um, they're not stepping the voltage up as high um, so if you are in fact looking for the most reliable inverter and it doesn't matter what company it is power jack ames um even duracell any of those companies 48 volts to stepping it up uh twice or four times is always going to be more reliable than stepping it up four eight or 16 times um because of the amount of amperage that has to be sent through the inverter from DC to AC. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully that uh, answers your question for you. This thing is just being awful strange. Um, so uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Take care.